Hey guys, let's talk about RAM. In this video, we're gonna answer the question, are RAM heat sinks or heat spreaders necessary? Now, um, let's talk about the, you know, the, the quick answer is no, they're not, but it sure doesn't hurt to have them. So uh, let's talk about three main reasons why you might wanna have them. Now, number one, aesthetic reasons. So it makes RAM look cool, but it kind of hides what it really looks like. So you don't actually get to see the RAM. You don't actually get to see the chips on there. So it kind of obstructs the view if you want to actually see the hardware. But at the same time, um, you know, they're generally a lot of times meant to look cool. So for example, you can see this, they have some red on here. A lot of these fins are just made to look nice. Um, you know, this is made to look nice. But uh, yeah, so it's meant to look nice and it's meant to uh, distinguish one stick of RAM from one company from another where they otherwise would have similar performance and basically be the same thing. So yeah, that, they're, they're just a way to distinguish different brands and to uh, you know see all this decoration on here and to uh, make things look pretty, basically, aesthetic reasons. That's, that's the first reason, but not the only reason. Now, it's also, it has been stated, this is a convenient way to grab the RAM. Instead of grabbing onto the actual chips themselves, this is a nice place you can grab this and pull a stick of RAM out or push it in. It gives you a nice way to grip a piece of RAM. So that's a, a second reason to have it. Now, also, it usually decreases heat, but not significantly. So it sure doesn't hurt to decrease the heat in your RAM to uh, keep it cool. It will perform better and you know, it, it will you know last longer and it's just better to keep it cool. Although it really doesn't, you really don't need to. So, <clears throat> so yeah, um, you, you don't need to, you don't need it. It's gonna give you minuscule, barely measurable. Some people have had the same stick of RAM, one with a heat spreader and one without, and saw the exact same temperature. So they're really, really not necessary, but it sure doesn't hurt. And in some cases, a lot of cases, it will decrease this, the, it will cool them down slightly. Now, more important than, uh, you know, decreasing the heat, more important than having a heat spreader or a heat sink on your RAM is just focusing on the airflow in your case. Um, you know, it, that would be a more important thing to focus on. So if you, if you had to choose between, you know, a heat sink or just adding another fan to your case, adding another fan to your PC case will probably cool your, your RAM down more and probably make an overall larger impact on performance. That said, you know, it, it sure doesn't hurt to have them. And, uh, you know, if, if you can have both, why not? There's, there's no reason not to have them on there. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, one thing I'd like to point out is don't remove RAM heat sinks unless you're very careful. So uh, yeah, they usually have thermal paste or sometimes even glue holding these uh, heat spreaders on. So don't go removing this, Just don't just pull off the heat sink because you could damage the chips. These are actually connected right to the chips uh, on the stick of RAM. So don't go pulling that right off without paying attention to what you're doing. It can be done, but you have to be careful about it and you have to use, you're generally gonna wanna use a heat gun to do it. Um, so that's kind of out of the scope of this video. I'm not, so yeah, maybe in a future video, I am going to, I may do a future video showing you how you can remove a heat sink from a stick of RAM. Um, but yeah, that, that would be another thing for another day. So um, but yeah, you usually use a heat gun for that. Now, if you aren't overclocking, so another situation where you, you might really want to have a heat sink on your RAM is if you are overclocking. So if you're overclocking, that's a whole other story. You might really want to have a heat sink on it. But if you're not overclocking, they're designed to take the heat without a spreader and to stay in spec. So these, these should stay in spec and perform the way they should without a heat spreader. Um, they're, they're just designed to do that. So they should be totally fine without it. Now, um, what, what else do we wanna talk about? So, so another reason, the reason some people might wanna remove the heat spreader is um, if they're adding a water cooling solution. So you, you might, you'll generally have to remove the heat spreader before you can add um, water cooling to a stick of RAM. So if you do wanna do that, that's one reason to remove it. Another reason might be for aesthetic reasons. Maybe you just don't like how the heat spreader looks, or maybe you know some people remove them so that they can spray paint them and reattach them purely for aesthetic reasons. Now, um, worth pointing out, um, using water cooling on RAM is usually gonna be totally pointless and it's not gonna help you at all. Um, not saying it won't help you, particularly if you are, uh, you know, if you're overclocking your RAM, um, I'm not gonna get into that, but um, yeah, it, it could potentially have some use, but generally it's not gonna help you that much. Another thing worth pointing out is in terms of aesthetics, um, you know, I, I actually installed a relatively recently, more like a year ago, I installed some RAM in my wife's computer that has um, it has LED strips on the, the, the back edge of the RAM. It uses up a tiny bit of power, but um, 
yeah, they, they, you know, it's purely for obviously putting a light on your RAM um, has no function at all. It does not help it. It doesn't make it faster or anything, obviously. But, um, it, you know, if, if that's the aesthetic you like, um, it may be worth doing. It's, it's, it doesn't hurt to have things look nice. And um, you know, so long as it doesn't take away from functionality. And uh, I, I have to admit, uh, the, the lights on the sticks of RAM that she has, they, they look amazing. They look really, really nice. It's probably the best lighting I've seen in, the, the best use of lighting I've seen in any computer case is, is those uh, sticks of RAM. So yeah, it can look pretty nice. Anyways, that's, a, that's about all I wanted to uh, share with you for today. So uh, yeah, so basically the answer is, are heat sinks, heat spreaders necessary? Almost always no, but it sure doesn't hurt to have them. They can keep your RAM cooler, um, help it to last longer and uh, perform ever so slightly better. Not enough that you would notice or it would make a difference, but hey, why not? If they're already on there, it doesn't hurt to have. Plus, if you like how it looks, that's great. And it does give you a place to grip the RAM. So that's, that's another bonus. Make sure uh, you hit that, if you found this useful, hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, maybe give me a thumbs up too, but also uh, you know, hit the subscribe button, but, but hit the little bell icon too. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos and we have a lot of great stuff coming up that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. We do a lot of hardware stuff. We do a lot of stuff with Linux, Windows, um, Apple stuff. We do um, you know a lot of electronics, robot building, Raspberry Pis, coding, scripting, automation, uh, 3D printing, just lots of cool tech stuff that you're gonna wanna have in your feed. So definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the hit the bell icon. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up. I'm going to be pushing out a lot, lot of interesting videos in the, in the upcoming days. So uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And if you know something I don't know or you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, I am planning on uh, doing a, a focus on RAM and um, I'm going to be put, putting out a lot of uh, RAM related uh, videos coming up uh, and I'm still going to keep on with my uh, Linux command videos for you know those of you watching this who have watched my Linux command videos. Um, those are kind of popular people. People tend to like those so putting a ton more of those out a lot a lot of linux stuff and a lot of other great tech stuff you're going to want to stay tuned for so uh yeah definitely stay tuned for that and that's about it for today so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video